um, what aspects of high school really helped you as a farmer? This is from the grade nine class. Can you cast your minds back to high school and think about either what you learned in the classroom or maybe it was more what you learned outside of the classroom that's helpful to you now? I don't know. Taylor, you might be the youngest one on the call, so maybe it's easiest for you to remember. Can you think of anything you learned in high school that's really helpful now? Uh, I guess most of the manufacturing technology courses were a big help for me. Uh, a lot of the stuff you do on the farm, you've got to learn to fix it yourself. And uh, having that kind of capabilities can really save you a lot of money. Parts can be a huge expense on a farm. Uh, also, I learned that there are some industries I wouldn't want to go into, and that kind of pushed me more towards farming. So. Uh, Something like uh, calculus was never a favorite of mine, so we uh, leave that to the experts. Good points. Gary, I want to ask you that question, and uh, I assume you grew up on the farm, so maybe it was more what you learned on the farm during high school that was helpful. What do you think? I grew up on the farm. I got 38 years in behind me here now. My father was here with me, so he was kind of a mentor for me. So and he always said, you learn from your own mistakes. That was the best learning curve or tool was he said you learn from your own i'll never forget that he said you learn from your own mistakes so he said try it and if it doesn't work he said you learn it might cost you money but he said that's that's the best lesson for you right there and then when i was in agriculture in high school we had an ag back then they had agriculture classes in high school and i took that even though i was in agriculture i was interesting to interact with the rest of the students that came from non-agricultural backgrounds and to see how interested they were in agriculture and they got a bigger perspective of agriculture just by being able, fortunate enough to take that in high school. And I think that's been removed from the high schools today. That it would be nice if they could bring some of that back into the high schools for to educate the uh, students, the basics of where the food comes from and the, all the perspectives of what goes on in producing food today. Mm -hmm. I think that's great, uh, Gary, the first part of your answer there about learning from your own mistakes. I think that funnels right into the conversation around the growth mindset that we talked about in the beginning. Kathy, do you remember um, your high school experience, what you what helpful then? Yeah, well, I really enjoyed biology. So I took biology through high school and I then ended up taking some genetics courses in university, which I didn't use directly after university, but I do... It just provides a kind of a baseline that I have drawn on in my farming work here. So I, I, nothing directly from the actual content, except that I still have some of my books. <laughs> from, <laughs> I still have some of my genetics books, which I have sort of delved into a few times here. So it's been, I, for my, it's been a bit of a circuitous route to get to where I am now, but I think the biology basics were definitely, are definitely, uh, I've drawn upon. Very cool. Eric, what about you? Anything from your high school experience that helps now? Yeah, I think just generally, it's, it's really great to uh, work on your, re your reading and writing and math skills. Like, we've got some people working with us that uh, struggle sometimes with some basic math at a finished university and uh, it's it's tough it's tough for them not to be able to like throw some numbers together and get out there so uh, um, not to throw anybody under the bus but uh, <laughs> uh, I think it's also really nice to know that when you're when you're reading and writing when you're applying for a grant or you're working with with the government groups that you're you know that you're reading and writing uh, people can understand you. You know that you're at you're at a level that uh, you know is is you're you're gonna win you're gonna win the grant because you've got you've got the you've covered all the bases. And I think uh, just to throw on that, I think uh, being part of athletics, if you're getting into vegetable farming, is a uh, is a really great thing to have because it's a very physically demanding job. And if you can keep yourself moving regularly, building your strength and fitness, uh, the job's a lot more fun. I can imagine too that there's a component of athletics that's helpful later on in terms of building teamwork. Like, you know, there's, you, you don't work in isolation on a farm for the most part. You got to know how to work not only with, you know, plants and animals, but also other, uh, your teammates as well. Exactly. There's a real team atmosphere to, to working. We find, uh, we find that people that, uh, you know, get into camp counseling, like uh, that come from sort of uh, youth camps and also get that, get into tree planting and, uh, 
that sort of thing are, are really good fits for us. Uh, anybody that has, uh, you know, team sports or, or endurance sports on the resumes is someone that we want to talk to. Very cool. Sarah and Rob, I want to ask you that. Oh, sorry, I, I would just second that. I think that's a really important part of, of farming, the kind of farming that Eric and I are doing is you need to be physically fit. You really do. And you've got to be able to be out there in the hot sun on a hot stinking day when you'd rather be inside. So you have to be able to cope with the environment uh, and, and as physically fit as you can be is, is really a bonus. I think that's really good. Thanks for highlighting that, Kathy. Sarah and Rob, the same question to you. Uh, what was, uh, what did you take away from your high school experience that's helpful now? I'll start since I was a more responsible high schooler, perhaps of the two of us. Um, I always liked history. So I guess uh, the basics of needing like food and shelter um, would have been something that sort of has kind of come back around to where we are now. Um, again, sort of with what piggybacking on what Eric said, the ability to be able to read and write and all those sort of basics and be able to communicate with the audience that you're writing to. Um, but yeah, high school seems, seems a little while ago. <laughs> Rob? Rob? There's, there's high school students watching, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is PG here, Rob. I learned that the school system gives you what you take out of it. So if you take it seriously and uh, and that's something that you want to pursue, then there is always an avenue for you to follow in that. And uh, yep, it's high school. <laughs>